Okay, my investment is set up and it's now time to place the ring into the burnout oven. I'm going to put it in here using my tongs. The oven is currently at 1600 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to leave it in here for approximately 15 20 minutes. That is very hot. Believe me, it is very hot. Now we'll wait, uh, prepare for our casting. Today I'm going to be making a non-precious casting. I'm waiting for my ring to complete burnout. It's also wise to use some uh, casting goggles. It's going to get so bright when I melt this metal that um, if I were to stare at it with my eyes, my naked eye, it would do damage to my cornea. So I want to protect them from uh, damage. Also, your crucible. Make sure that you keep your crucible clean. Uh, this does not look like a clean crucible, but it, but it really is. It's just been used many times. Uh, I always use the same alloy with this crucible. I have an instrument on the side that after each casting I will remove any flash from it, throw that away, and also make sure that I rinse, either sandblast or rinse this crucible before my next casting. Uh, reason being is sometimes if you don't, uh, dust can get in your crucibles, you, you can't see that. I mean it can even be a day or two and uh, you can have some dust build up that will transfer into your metal during the casting. So always wash your, your crucibles and keep those clean as you possibly can. It may be a good idea to just just throw out, if they look this bad, you may want to throw it out. What I do is I wind my machine. This is a uh, centrifugal casting machine. It works with a spring. Uh, I wind this four times for non-precious castings and I wind it three for high noble um, or yellow gold. So what we do, start at this point here. So one, two, three, we lock it in with the locking pin here. Make sure that this falls freely. You may want to use some Teflon if you want to have a uh, free fall. Pull back your crucible. Make sure that you've balanced it uh, with the weights here before you make the casting so that it will be nice and smooth when it spins. Make sure that you've chose the proper cradle for the size ring that you have. Next thing would be a good idea to put your alloy in. And I'm still looking for that. Going to place my alloy. Just wanted to rinse that one more time. Alloy is placed. Going to put my goggles and my mask on. I have my Harris torch. I have, I believe this is a 12 hole tip, casting tip. 
um, what I'm going to do is melt the alloy. An indication that it will be ready to cast is when the alloy starts to slump. Uh, Non-precious does not liquefy like gold. So when it starts to slump, I'm going to try to hold my casting. My torch is uh, as steady as I possibly can in one hand I'm going to reach in the burnout furnace with my tongs grab the flask the uh, the ring put it in the cradle here push my crucible up release here pull or pull back the arm which will release the pin I'll immediately let it go all this has to be done pretty fast. Um, if not, you can get a cold casting. So here we go. We're going to one other thing. Um, I am using oxygen and I'm using propane gas. A mixture of the two. Uh, I'm using about 28 pounds of oxygen and I'm using about 14 pounds of propane. Uh, it's usually uh, usually twice the oxygen. Also, um, you generally need to be able to melt this alloy, this non-precious alloy, in about 45 seconds, 45 seconds to a minute. If you're not melting it by that time, then um, you probably need to change your oxygen ratio you probably or you're not ratio but your your oxygen level should probably be turned up because you uh, you want to melt this as, as fast as possible um, you really need to check with your uh, alloy specification and find out what they recommend the manufacturer recommends as well I'm going to get my tongue. Oh! You're not supposed to do that. Okay, I will let this free spin. Um, I'm going to let this ring cool down by a uh, bench cool. I'm not going to quench this. I, you can quench this alloy. If you do quench it, make sure that the the orange color is uh, is not there anymore. And um, after that, start your divesting. Okay. That is immediately after the the uh, arm has stopped spinning. It's, it's orange hot. I would not want to touch that at all. So I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to let it cool by itself, bench cool, and um, just break it out and uh, divest it and start my finishing process. <laughs> 